Though, Kazrak is definitely one of those lords in the game that just never quite does what you hope he would. He's fairly weak, not the meta in campaign or in um, multiplayer battle. I mean, campaign, he's got some fun mechanics, but most of the times he's outshined by the other lords. And then in battle, he's rarely one of the top picked or ever picked beastman legendary lords. However, there can be some kind of... Um, unique things that go on with him. He is on a chariot here, which is probably his preferred style of taking him. I have given him the Dark Mail, which does give him 20% ward save, some spell resistance, and armor. So it's a really, really, really good item. Um, the thing that's kind of interesting, and I think this might just be something weird with chariots, and I guess Kazrak specifically, is even though he's an anti-infantry character, up against the Blood Knights, who are anti-large, he actually can beat them. It is kind of a, a back and forth fight. There are times where he does lose this. I've kitted him out how I would typically take him in a multiplayer battle if I were going to use him. I think Apocalyptic Vision is really good if you surround him or you have him basically tag team with uh, Centigors or Razorgors. He can engage a unit like the Blood Lights and then when your other units come into play, he can pop Apocalyptic Vision and then they get a huge damage boost, and it's it's pretty good. Dark Mail is obviously a gimme. you got to bring that every single time. And to be honest, it's surprising how well he does against Blood Knights. Now, this is a specific matchup I've, I've tested again and again. Just It surprises me, and I think that it lets us kind of know that... <laughs> a, Kazrak is a little bit better than we give him credit for. At least a lot tankier than we can give him credit for. But B, uh, Blood Knights really are, they're falling short, and I think they might need some kind of buffs at some point. I think armor piercing or, I mean, maybe raising the armor piercing values. I, obviously, in a real battle here, Blood Knights would probably win just because they would be getting um, heals from their casters. So I might be underselling the actual um, strength of Blood Knights simply because there's not any healing going towards them besides just their hunger passive. But, to be fair, the Beastmen wouldn't just be sending, you know, just Kazrak into Blood Knights. So, either way, I just thought this was kind of a quirky matchup that would surprise a lot of people. I thought I would quickly make a fun, short little video on it, and hopefully you enjoy it, and, and hopefully maybe CA can, can see this, and, and maybe try to figure out exactly what's going on, and hopefully resolve the issue that tends, that, I mean, must be happening. Here because clearly Blood Knight should not be losing this fight. I mean, if Kazark had any kind of anti-large, then maybe. I think it's just the fact that his armor is 130, which is that second soft cap of um of oh sorry damage reduction, and then he also has a 20% board save on top of it. So Blood Knights being primarily non-armor piercing basically have very little hope of actually, I guess, dealing damage to him. So. Either way, hopefully you found that somewhat interesting, and hopefully you did enjoy watching. I will probably keep more of these coming out. I do actually enjoy the sh more shorter form content, just showcasing some quirks and some interesting little tech pieces you can bring into your games. So hopefully you enjoyed that, and let me know in the comments if you did, and I will talk to you later.